Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Arrow Season 1 Episode 16. This is called Dead to Rights. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter or would like to get early access to my reactions or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. I just landed in Starling City. We agreed. Half on arrival, the other half on the job is done. Gracias. Don't worry. The man's as good as... You've built quite the reputation. And you should have stayed overseas. Oh, is she teaching her how to fight? Now the trick is to keep your weight evenly distributed. I thought the trick was to avoid getting into fights. Yeah, well, Starling City is not the kind of place where you can talk your way out of trouble. Besides, if you're going to be working with us, yeah. you'll sleep a lot easier knowing that you can handle yourself. Ferrer's world class. He kills high profile targets, and whatever job he was hired for isn't finished. We need to figure out who he was here to kill, and fast, they are probably still in danger. <laughs> That's so me trying to do a pull up. <laughs> I'm more of a runner. That's broken. It got busted during the crash. Did you try to get it to work? I'm better at pulling things apart. Well, maybe I can make the radio work. You should be training for the inevitable fight that's looming. I think I have a better chance making the radio work. <laughs> Welcome. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Tommy! Mm. I haven't seen oh, you in a while. Like a oh, this is adorable. How old are you here? That's actually my sister, Sarah. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I don't know why my father bought her that canary. That thing chirped night and day, drove us all nuts. I toast to the first birthday that I have enjoyed in a long time. Happy birthday, Tommy. Just give us a second. I'm being honored by the Starling City Municipal Group. They're bestowing me with their annual humanitarian award. What, they ran out of actual humans to give it to? I would like you to be there, if you could. I need someone to die at the right time. And no one does it better than you. My vision... ain't exactly what it used to be. No. Is that dead shot? He didn't die? It's going to be better. So... Who needs two bullets in the chest? How in the hell did that guy survive an arrow to the eyeball? The undertaking which we set for ourselves is only months from fruition. There's hope on the horizon for everyone in Starling. We won't fail this city. It's not gonna be easy to break, but Code Breaker is my middle name. Actually, it's Megan. Felicity, can you get anything off of it? Just the last number he dialed. Which was? A restaurant in Chinatown. Jade Dragon. He did come by, and it seemed like he was trying to act a little bit dad-like. Dad-like, that sums up my father perfectly. I, from the outside, it always looked like I had a father. Your dad took me to my first hockey game. Your dad uh, taught me how to fly fish. Your dad took us to our first R-rated movie. My dad made mistakes, but I have a lot of anger towards him. But still, I would give anything to have him back because at the end of the day your dad is your dad your dad i don't want him to reconcile with his dad just because we know how his dad is but i do think his dad really does care about him he's just not just in his own way but i do think his dad cares about him We shall see that someday, she shall. Go, let's see. Me here. That's the answer for City Dolan, me here. Ah, she's here. We don't know. We think our Korean can't listen to Chinese either. They think he's Chinese. You've been at that for days. Give it a rest. It's because I can do this. Sure, kid. When pigs fly. Oh? Look up in the sky. You gotta be kidding me. They can't hear us, and we can't call out. 
we're still trapped. He's thinking about it. I swear to God, if Tommy goes to this thing and he gets killed because he tries to save his dad, I'm gonna be pissed. I guess she hasn't talked to her mom since her mom left them. Is that like the first time she called or something? Because she seemed really shocked. Come in. Yes. Yes. Way to go, Felicity Smoke. You don't happen to speak Spanish, do you? Arabic. Oh, Lasai. <laughs> Did she say Lasai? <laughs> oh my God. Target is Tommy's father. Oh, they found out who the target is. Tommy's there. Uh, McKenna, Mr. Diggle is going to take you home. I have some unexpected business. It's okay. That this city will be better for all of us. And on that day... Is she going to feel guilty be to have him killed right in front of her his son? I Surprisingly, his first thought was his son. Come with me. Oh God. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where it's going. He just brought him to danger instead of just letting him go out the front door. Why do you want Malcolm Merlin dead? I'll settle for you. I'm scared. For Tommy. Is that like a grenade or something? Or are they just showing a really close up of a bullet? Oh god. He's revealing himself. I think he's probably wearing bulletproof vest. Yeah, he's not bleeding. He's wearing a bulletproof vest. You're bleeding. You're bleeding. I'll be fine. I'll... Yeah, not if it's poison. Like Deadshot likes to use. Don't do it. I'm not here to hurt you or your father. Because if you don't let me help you now, he's dead before anybody gets here. Why should I trust you? <gasps> oh no, is he gonna show himself? Because you always have. Oliver. Working. Get out of there, Oliver. Don't let Malcolm Ready? see you. This guy, friend of yours, Merlin. I don't know who the hell he is. He's not lying when he says that either. I'm sure he feels that way. He doesn't know who the hell Oliver is anymore. Final deployment is five by five. Ooh, that's Thanks. the guy, right? I'm tuned into the soldier's frequency. Who is Fires talking to? I don't know. Sounds like someone off this island. Maybe his benefactor. The Odyssey from one of the four nightmare chapters. Scylla was a monster. <laughs> I want to meet this monster. He's not in the hospital because he was shot. He was poisoned by Kirari. It's the guy that killed your brother. Mom's alive. I'm sorry, John. Or explain it to Felicity so she can understand. Does Lawton kick his dog or something? No. He killed his brother. He can simultaneously track up to 100 targets, whilst engaging in at least a dozen. I found myself in a place called Nanda Parbat. I met a man there. He helped me to find a purpose for my life. We have a traitor in our midst. I want you to find out who. He just made his last mistake. Are you ever gonna tell me? Probably no. not. Oh, let me guess this is mom. Hello, Laurel. Mom. I have something important I need to discuss with you. 
What could be so important after all this time? It's about Sarah. I think she may be alive. Okay, guys, so that was the end of episode 16 of season one of Arrow. Um, I have to make this real quick. My husband is going to be home any second with dinner. Um, but I really like this episode. It was really good. Um, I wish I could get more into it and ramble like I usually do, but like I said, I don't have the time. Um, I'll explain that smile I had at the end with um, the mom saying that she thinks Sarah's alive. It's because I said something similar that, you know, we don't know for sure that she was dead. So it's not too surprising if it's true that she is alive, but it begs the question, like, where is she and why didn't she contact her family if it's true? Um, so, but yeah, so I really, really enjoyed this episode. I wish I could get more into it, um, for you guys, but I just can't, but I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.